Hi all, Clamside Agent here. Today we're going to do a comparison video between the two types of Moonlander titanium alcohol stoves. The larger one done by a couple of different uh, brands and the smaller Boundless Voyage. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Um, I've done, uh, I think, about five videos on these uh, type of alcohol stoves. I will be putting um, links to those other videos in the uh, description box, and I've also made a playlist of all of just for the Moonlander uh, or videos that I've used the Moonlander stoves in. So if you're interested in chasing those down, they're available. So to start with, um, I'm, I'm not going to do any boil tests in this video because you can go back and see the boil tests in the in the previous videos. So I just kind of wanted to show these guys side by side so you can kind of see the size difference in the comparison. So just a quick overview, uh, and I'll be given the, the detailed specs probably after I do the comparison. So if you're not particularly interested in that kind of data, you can uh, stop the video there. Go back to your cat videos. <laughs> but... Anyway, like I say, this one is um, done by different, uh, I've seen them branded different ones. They look identical. This one's called the TF Artisan, and I've also seen uh, Tom Shoe, and I don't know if I've seen another one or not, but uh, you can find these. Uh, I bought mine on AliExpress. I have seen them on Amazon. They're a little more expensive out there and other under vendors. And actually, I've seen a variety of, of prices for both of these, even on AliExpress. So I'll just for quick um, I paid uh, 13 or 1533 for the uh, the larger one and I had to pay uh, an extra 380 for the the uh, snuffer some of the some of them come priced with the snuffer as part of it I had to buy these separate so just kind of shop around when you're looking at these like I say the Aliexpress are the definitely the cheapest that I've found and uh, the Boundless Voyage, it uh, it wasn't very expensive either. I f again, I found it on the uh, AliExpress, and it was uh, seventeen thirty four. So, and it doesn't come with a snuffer, and I haven't seen anybody advertising a snuffer for this one. Uh, I did make a snuffer for this one out of uh, the lid to a fancy feast uh, cat food can. That strips off and uh, what I did was I, I trimmed it down so it would fit inside and also my first one if you go look at that video uh, I had it flipped up and it got in the fire and actually melted the uh, the pull tab so I actually thought well this would work better I'll just swing it out and uh, trim off a little bit so and we'll go back over here and it does fit in very nicely and it does work I did a test on it it will will snuff it out so it's this weighs nothing and it's small enough that you can probably fit it inside the stuff sack so that's the snuffer speaking of stuff sacks uh, this one came with a nice little orange thin nylon and the boundless voyage came with a little bit thicker nylon uh, stuff sack so that's always nice they do both fold up the legs come in Okay, now with the, uh, if you have the snuffer, it will fit in here nicely, and thus it won't, it won't add any uh, height to uh, the, the final package, so that's kind of a nice feature. Same with this guy here, he'll, uh, he folds up a little bit smaller. Fold up inside. Uh, this one here, you could probably just set him, set him on top or underneath or off to the side somewhere. If you want to carry this with your, uh, it'll all stay together in the back so they won't get lost in the bottom of your pack. So you go ahead and uh, do some more comparisons. If you can see right here, here are the two stoves. Let's see if I can do this. What kind of contortionist I get both these in the uh, viewfinder here. 
there you go. You can see that uh, this one is a little bit larger than the uh, Boundless Voyage. Same with the uh, the diameters. It's just a little smaller and a little lighter stove. Uh, I'll just give you the the, the weights again. Uh, this one is 2.3 ounces, or uh, perhaps I, I was going to write the grams down on this. I'm sorry. Oh, 65 grams. There we go. Uh, this one is uh, 1.7 ounces, which is really light, and it's 48 grams. So, say so if you're if you're really looking to save weight, this is the guy. Uh, like I say, these are both great little stoves. They perform well. Whichever one you get, I think I'm sure you'll be happy with it. Probably a lot of it just boils down to size. Size and what you like. Uh, let's see. What else is going to talk about these guys here real quick? Oh, let me open them up for you. And uh, Here's the size comparison again. Just see that flat down. Oops. There you go. This one has a little wider base, so it will be a little more stable, but you just have to be careful with any stove. So you can kind of look at the comparison here and then also on the bottom or the base. I say the first part of this video is just going to, which is already done, it's just kind of a show and tell on the, on the stoves. Now I'll start giving you some of the, uh, the details I did testing both of these stoves. Like I said, all that, all the other testing and everything is in, in the other videos. You can go back and, and look at those if you want to. But uh, just real quick, um, this one boils a little bit faster. It does have the inch and a quarter spacing between the top of the... Uh, the burner cup and and the bottom of the pot stands and that's uh, that's usually the optimum for for a quick burn okay there's been some talk back and forth that with the with the smaller this one's like five eighths of an inch the smaller gap it doesn't boil as fast but it uses less fuel so uh, great taste less filling <laughs> where this one burns faster but but uh, uses a little bit more fuel what I should have done when I did the original burn test then I, is I should have weighed it and see exactly how much fuel each of these used for the burn, but I didn't. So, you know, a lot of this is just such a small difference that, uh, you know, we're just we're just quibbling over <laughs> ants. Or as we used to say in the Air Force, stepping on ants and letting the elephants run wild. So we're just stepping on ants here. No elephants, though. <laughs> anyway... Um, so let's see, and this this guy burned, uh, he boiled 16 ounces of 56 degree water in 5 minutes and 50 seconds, and um, I, I did a, a different, another test today to see how long this ran out. I, I was careful on how much alcohol was in there. Had a little bit different results than the first time I tried it, but this one ran out at 8.8 .8, uh, 8 minutes and 8 seconds uh, for an ounce of fuel. Now the the smaller one, like I say, he, he was a little bit slower on the boil. Uh, I did another boil test this morning on this one, too, just to kind of make sure nothing was really out of whack. This one uh, just came in uh, at the same thing, 16 ounces of 56-degree water. It was it was born about uh, 7 minutes and 31 seconds for him, and uh, that ounce of fuel actually lasted for 11.55. So this one obviously doesn't burn it as vigorously or as hot as this one does. So you say the pretty small differences. I think really the only thing is is personal taste and how, how much space you want to take up and weight are the really only things I'd worry about with these stoves. Um, so if you just want quick numbers, you know what, I'm just going to post the numbers in the uh, in the description. You, if you're really interested, you can go down and, and look at them. No use me just rattling these off. That's, that's kind of boring. <laughs> so or painful <laughs> and boring. Okay, uh, you know, I really can't think of a whole lot more to say about them. I, I say they're both excellent little stoves. They burn fine. They're comparable to, to anything. 
I, I feel they're they're nice and stable. Their pot stands are are uh, wide enough or near in in enough that they'll handle most size pots, even even kind of smaller stuff. Shouldn't be any real problem with either of these, depending on what you want to throw on it. So, um, like I said, if you're interested, I'd recommend either one of them. I'm pretty happy with them. So, really can't think of anything else to uh, ramble on about. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.